Uh, so I am Mike Bouchong. I run enterprise marketing at Juniper. Uh, before you bow your heads down in disgust at a marketing person, I want you to know that Matt Oswalt is in marketing as well. <laughs> uh, that's just I like that unexpected, right? Yeah, so I'm, um, we're more of a kind of a product team masquerading as marketers. Um, what we've done is we've built out a, a team of people who write code. We think that that's kind of the way to go forward. Um, so welcome to the 2019 version of Juniper's Job Fair. Uh, I'm not saying I have been known to hire out of NFD, uh, but, uh, but uh, Ed, your start date, by the way, is a couple weeks, so thanks for that. Um, in all seriousness, though, uh, NFD, so I, I think I was actually the first presenter at the first NFD. Um, uh, Yvonne Popelniak handed my ass to me uh, because I didn't understand the format and nobody had briefed me. It's mostly Abner Germanow's fault, by the way. Um, what's interesting about NFD, and, and I do mean this in all sincerity, I, I think this venue, this repeating forum, is pretty important to the industry. Um, it gives us a more authentic look behind the hype and the buzz. I think it helps move things forward. Um, the folks who've been involved in NFD for a long time understand that my uh, affection for this format is actually quite sincere. Um, not just because I hire out of NFD, but, but I think it's I think that the work that everyone does, you know, kind of here in the room to try to tease out the meaningful bits, I think it's important. Um, I think our industry is at a point in where the, the hype is so far ahead of the reality that we're actually at a, a point that's existentially... You got it? <laughs> So I think we're at a point where, where if that gap becomes insurmountably large, I think we leave behind an entire generation of infrastructure people. Um, that's painful for networking folks. I, I would argue that that goes beyond just networking people. Um, and we do a disservice if we only pay attention to kind of the, the next big buzzword. Um, so what we're going to do today, uh, we're focused, actually we'll be talking in, in the cloud version of this in a couple of months as well, I think. Um, today we're going to focus mostly on automation. Um, to tee it up, uh, what I want to talk about just briefly is, is how we view the automation space. Um, at some point, if you're an automation enthusiast, you have to reconcile um, one major disconnect for me. We've been focused on automation as an industry for two decades, three decades, right? Um, despite that, you know, 80% of data center operations are still CLI driven. Um, if you get into the campus and branch, it's even worse, right? So at some point, you have to rationalize how, after two decades of work, how can we be where we are? And the answer is, we, like, we've utterly failed as an industry. I think that's the only conclusion we can draw. Um, this hurts for me to say, because automation is probably the thing that Juniper does um, uniquely like, best. I think we're, we're defensively strong in the area. It's the single most underexploited part of our portfolio, um, which means we have to come up with a hypothesis that says, why have we largely been unsuccessful? Um, there's a way to think about it is there's production side problems, meaning the reason we're not successful is that we lack the tools, the technology, the capabilities. There's consumption side problems which say the issues are tied to adoption. Um, it's impossible to conclude that we have a production side problem. We have plenty of tools. And in fact, whenever new tools come, we tend to think about them in terms of old tools, right? So uh, everyone knows that uh, encapsulations were invented with VXLAN, right? We never did that before. Um, SDN, like, there were never any controllers before SDN became popular, right? Like, these are all decades old ideas. They just come back and they, 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 we reintroduce them and then they, they find different meaning. Um, we have a consumption side problem. So at Juniper, our primary objective in the automation space is to solve consumption side problems. What you're going to see today is not, um, in some ways, this is actually very atypical. What we're going to talk about today isn't about a product. It's not about a SKU. This is not about retiring quota. This is not about anything that our sales teams are actively going to go sell. Fundamentally, we believe if the industry, if we're going to solve the adoption side problems, we have to help the users, not necessarily try to help ourselves. Now, in the end, we believe fundamentally that anything that moves us to a more automated future benefits us because it moves people off the CLI and that brings them closer to where our portfolio is. So we do benefit from this, but the things we're going to talk about today, um, very sincerely, even in private meetings, are not about driving revenue. This is about driving a change in the industry. And so bringing this to the, a group that fundamentally is donating their own time to try to make change in the industry, this is why I think it's a pretty good fit. So we'll start off with Ronak. He's going to talk a bit about kind of where we host a lot of this stuff and some of the elements that are there. We'll conclude with Matt Oswalt talking a bit about what we're actually doing. We'll give you a peek under the hood. My um, sincere ask, and I'll close with this, is that as we engage, don't think about this in terms of portfolio. Don't think about it in terms of strategy. Think about it in terms of how we move a generation of network engineers who are reliant on a tool that likely goes away in the future. How do we move them forward? 
If we can sincerely help drive that kind of change, I think everyone kind of wins.